Opening our list of upcoming horror games of 2016 to 2017 is The Hum Abductions. Horror games and Unreal Engine 4 are always a deadly combination. The Hum Abductions is a first-person horror fest of extraterrestrial proportions. If nobody knows, it's a prequel to the alien simulator game called The Hum. In this game, you take control of a mother who's simply trying to live a normal life but eventually catches herself in the presence of a foreign disturbance. Uncover the mysteries of the disappearance of your husband and protect the only thing that you care most about, your son. No release date has been announced yet, but everyone's hoping for a late 2016 release. Ninth place is Perception. It is rare when a horror game takes physical disability to a spine-tingling approach. From the developers of Bioshock and Dead Space brings you a Kickstarter campaign that is still on its way to becoming a reality. Perception introduces a unique gameplay approach to horror. You are blind. Embrace yourself in a world devoid of light and trust your senses because it's your only hope. A spectral entity haunts you throughout the game and you have to survive its horrific ordeal. Support the game on Kickstarter. Just do it! Eighth is What Remains of Edith Finch. This game feels like a series of horrific case files from the framed Warrens. It's odd and it's unnerving. Giant Sparrow, the makers of the Unfinished One, brings you a game that not only scares the crap out of you, but it also tells a different perspective of a story. The game is set on a cursed family in Washington. You take control of the lives of different characters in the form of short stories and uncover the evil conundrum that lurks behind it. The game is set to release on 2016, hopefully on the PlayStation 4. Rank 7th is Pamela. Dubbed as a horror game straight out of Mass Effect, though we would like to add a bit of Bioshock's crazy atmosphere to its core. This game takes the horror of sci-fi to a technological feat. Survive a futuristic world of Eden and do whatever it takes to live through the next day. The world is clamped with vibrant lights and you are plagued with the horrors of afflicted citizen that only knows pain. But throughout this nightmarish place, you are met with an AI called Pamela to guide you. The game gets crazier with the use of Holopad, which serves as the game's central gadget. These gadgets are necessary for your character if you survive through it at all. The game is set to release this February 2017 and is currently in its early access phase. Sixth is Friday the 13th The Game. Who could forget the memories that Camp Crystal Lake offers? And who doesn't want to control the most unkillable man in the history of slasher cinema? The main focus of this game is the brilliance of its multiplayer approach. Players are given the freedom to take control of six unlucky teenagers as they survive a night through the clutches of Jason Voorhees, outsmart, fight, or run away from his presence. For the game's twist, players are also capable of controlling Jason. In this gameplay, he is able to track these poor souls and slaughter them up until their last breath. You only live once? Tell that to Jason. Fifth place as Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 3. Heartbreaking is what this game is known for. We've seen several playthroughs of famous YouTubers cry their hearts out when their favorite character suffers an untimely demise. From Season 1, we've seen terrible death. Season 2, we get to make a difficult choice. But what awaits in Season 3? Clementine is all grown up and she's stronger than ever. The world is still filled with the bloodthirsty walkers, and Telltale's mastery of choice-driven adventure is still giving us the taste of its morally gray decisions. The game is set to release this November 2016 on PC, Mac, console, and mobile. Fourth is State of Decay 2. Zombie plus survival plus open world. This combination has become a staple in gaming in the past few years. Now, here comes one of the pioneers. State of Decay 2 is a sequel to the original zombie survival title released three years ago. It promises a more in-depth take on surviving in a post-apocalyptic world. Players can control a whole community of survivors, each with specific abilities and characteristics. And you can now play with friends in multiplayer sessions. The horror may be on the sideline, but with zombies roaming around, it will still offer a lot of action-packed jump scares. Coming to PC and Xbox One sometime in 2017. Third place is Allison Road. How much longer must we wait? This spiritual successor to the famed Silent Hills, and may it rest in peace, has suffered a lot. It went from being cancelled to the last moment until the time when they finally re-announced its release. 
Allison Road shrieks with terror by using the powerful Unreal Engine 4. The flickering lights, claustrophobic hallways, and blood-soaked walls are reminiscent to what we really loved about Kojima and Del Toro's legendary demo. Keep your fingers crossed, boys! This game is recently revived and hopefully we'll get a release date soon. It will be released on the PC, the PlayStation 4, and the Xbox One. Number 2 in the list is Outlast 2. Dark and damp corridors, creaking wooden floors, and crazy demonic rituals are what awaits the player in the sequel to the critically acclaimed horror game. Developer Red Barrels has yet to reveal details of the game. What we do know so far is that it will feature new characters and a new setting. A cornfield, an abandoned farmland, a secluded midwestern town of the occult. What awaits the main character this time? Set to release on the PC, the PS4, and the Xbox One in the first quarter of 2017. And the most anticipated upcoming horror game is Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. There's no denying Capcom's biggest entry to the horror scene is promising. Revealed on E3 2016 with nothing but a footage and a playable demo of a character trapped inside an abandoned house. Upon its announcement, fans are surprised by its deviation from the actual third-person gameplay. In 7, the first-person element is giving us the very creeps. No details have yet been given in connection to the previous game's continuity, but what we do know so far is the insanity this game showed during the recent trailer. Jesus Christ, that was scary. If anyone's itching to play this game, download the demo available only for the PlayStation Plus users and embrace the terrors of viruses this January 24th, 2017. We publish four gaming videos every week. Don't miss any of them. Click that bell button beside the subscribe button, check the send me box, and save! Subscribe now and give us a like and share this video to your friends or follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Google+.